As we've been saying this morning, nothing has focused the nation's attention on the accessibility of kids to guns, like what happened in Littleton, Colorado at Columbine High School. You are now going to hear from someone who's not spoken before, but you may have heard her mention. She is the young woman who accompanied Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris to the gun show, where three of the four guns were purchased. Her name is Robin Anderson, and she joins us from our Washington Bureau this morning. Robin, if I could just get a general reaction, first of all, to what you've heard this morning. Anything you hear this morning have stopped you from accompanying them and help them buy the guns? Would have stopped me from yes. going with them? Yes. Um, I guess if it had been illegal, if I had known that it was illegal, I wouldn't have gone. Which brings us to the question, why you went? Why were you needed there? I was 18 and they were both 17 at the time. So it was legal to purchase a gun if someone 18 years old was there? Yes. And they actually paid for the guns, or did you? It was their money, yes. All I did was show an, a driver's license. But this happened, as I gather, in December, last yes. December, which would be three, four months before the incident at mm -hmm. Littleton. What did they tell you they wanted the guns for? They really didn't say anything in particular. I just kind of assumed they were either hunting or collection. I mean, it was just the type of thing that they were into, I guess. But did you say, why? Why should we do this? Do you think, I don't want to do this? It didn't really seem odd, I guess, for them to want guns. Because? So, because they, it was just in their personality trait, I guess. It's just something that they um, enjoyed, I guess, um, found interesting. Not, it, didn't, it didn't really seem odd to me at the time, no. But at the time, did it worry you at all that they were so interested in guns and that you were going with them to purchase more? Was there anything I that didn't, worried you? I didn't really have any reason to believe that they would do anything with them, you know, that they would um, commit such a crime. I didn't have any idea that anything was going to happen. And so, I mean, they were just guys that I knew and hung out with and had fun with. Um, and I never could have seen it coming, so it didn't seem like it was anything, there was anything wrong with it. Did you know a lot of kids who were interested in guns? Um, not that many, I guess, but... Um, Looking back now, was there anything that Dylan said to you or Eric said to you that now flags something in your attention about that day? Um, the only thing that I can ever think, I mean, just randomly, um, when he asked me what day prom was and I told him you know it was um, you know a weekend after, you know two weekends away and he asked me what day and I told him the 17th and it seemed like he had something else you know going on after that that's the only thing I can think of that really um, kind of says you know that he had other plans you know he had that something was going to go on the date in mind for some reason yeah you, in fact, accompanied Dylan Klebold to the prom. Yes, yes? I did. Yes. Was, it a, was it a date? How close were you? Um, we were just good friends. He went with me as a friend, kind of as a favor to me. Um, I really wanted to go, and I knew that we would have fun if we went together. Um, so I actually asked him, um, not really as a date, just as friends. And he was happy, you know, the whole night, pretty much, as far as I could tell. He seemed in good spirits. So. Because of something one of your friends said about the fact that you and she left the school just minutes before the incident and then returned, the question mm -hmm. has arisen, did you have some warning? No, none. We were, um, you, we were in a hurry to get out of school only for the pure fact that it was lunchtime and we were only allotted 40 minutes for lunch to leave, get lunch and come back and get back to class. Um, so it wasn't unusual, really, that we were, you know, trying to hurry to get it out, to get out. Um, You're saying it was simply a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, and I wouldn't have come back. We came back and we're stuck in my car for like two and a half hours. 
while everything was going on. When you look back, do you wish, I guess, do you say to yourself, could I take back that day? At the gun show? Yes. I wish that I had known more. I wish that I had questioned more. I wish now that I hadn't gone with them, that I would have said, um, I feel uncomfortable. Um, maybe you could find someone else. Just and looking back again, what didn't you know about them that you now think is true? I think that they had kind of a uh, hidden hatred that they just didn't show anyone but each other and I you know I wish that we could have uh, their friends would, we could have helped them in some way all right Robin Anderson again we thank you for speaking this day and for being with us here in Washington thank you you're welcome we'll take a break we'll be right back <laughs>